Good afternoon. So we want CQ for ham radio 3.0. Let's go with the flow with everybody else putting the announcement out for the new Yesu FTX 1F all mode field QRP transceiver including C4FM. Disappointing that it only comes with 10 watts with an external power supply. With its own battery pack it will be 6 watts. That's my Facebook group. You're more than welcome to join. Let's have a look some, uh, at some other photographs. Go across here. Where are they all? Sorry about this, hang on a minute. Oh, here they are. That must be with its auto ATU, which is an optional extra with an optional cooling fan. Why they can't incorporate it as one package not suggesting the retail outlets couldn't offer the ATU with, with, with the main package anyway. But why isn't it included in the radio? You don't actually have to buy it uh, separately. I don't know. And also, I've actually recently noticed, looking through the photographs, that that battery pack looks a little bit different. So is that a standard battery pack? Is that a separate battery pack with the ATU? I honestly don't know. Perhaps the people in the know could tell us. That's the front one. I don't have a colour screen. I don't have a, a photo with that um, with the screen turned on. But it does actually look quite nice. And that's another front page. If I go back to my Facebook group. Sorry if you can hear about clicking around. I'm changing pages. That's the announcement from one of the retail outlets in the UK. Wait for everything else to pop up on the screen. No, that's all right. I do believe these people had a phone call from Yesu UK to announce that the EU version will be will include four meters which is great news. There you go, it confirms 6 watts power output with its 5670 milliamp battery pack and up to 10 watts of power output available when using external DC power supply. Also comes an optional ATU and a cooling fan I understand. Also, like I said earlier on before, comes with C4FM for us guys that like the digital modes. On the display, you can show HF and VHF, HF and UHF, and obviously the usual VHF, VHF, UHF, UHF, and so on and so on and so on. That's it really, I think, on that one. Apparently available early 2025. The only guessing game now we've actually got. Oh, that's the photo I've actually got with a colour screen. Hang on a minute, I've got a dog coming round near me at the moment trying to lie down. What are you doing, Gus? Come on, come and lie down. That's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy, come on. What are you after? Probably buried a biscuit behind me. Anyway, that's the colour screen for the radio. So it does actually look nice. I guess the game now is how much. And obviously how much with the auto ATU and the cooling fan. Unless it's actually sold all together in one package. Oh, do apologise. I think that's as far as I can actually go. More than welcome to join. Me Facebook group. Let's go back to it again. Come out of that. 
That's the name for it. That's the photograph you see. More than likely, we'll put more information as I receive it out on the page closer to when it becomes available. All through, we had an announcement that um, it's coming, the EU version is coming with four meters. I hope that's not a red herring. I'm not suggesting people at uh, Yeshua UK are telling porkies or an early or late April Fool's joke. But I do remember, also, my memory's not that good anymore at my age. Didn't we have a very similar problem with the 705? A big announcement when that was coming out that it's going to have four meters. And a great disappointment when we finally uh, received the announcement in the UK that it wasn't coming with four meters. So hopefully the four meters will be true. It will be nice to have something uh, extra for change and include four meters but we have to wait for the price 2e1cq thank you for watching my youtube channels please like and subscribe please join the facebook page open to all radio hams around the world 73 for now catch you later